Welcome back to my channel loves. Today we are going to be on a huge organization kick. I'm going to basically revamp my pantry spices, relabeling, rejarring, all that fun stuff. Um, so I'm actually going to pop out because I need to go to Dollarama. I have a few that I still need to get. Um, after I kind of like did all my like labels and stuff like that, I realized that I needed some more jars. And we're going to come back here and we are going to get the process started of reorganizing the pantry. I'm so excited this just like looks so nice it's just got like a nice aesthetic to it and I feel like it just kind of really elevates your kitchen um, and your cooking experience so um, if you guys follow me on Instagram stories I did do this for my mother-in-law's pantry uh, cover she went and bought all the jars herself and then I did the labels for her and then we labeled them all organized them and it just looks so nice so i can't wait to do this for myself i've been trying to do this for a few months and i've just been putting it off i don't know why so today is the day we are going to do this and i'm going to share with you uh how i kind of like clean out my pantry how i'm organizing some things and it's pretty inexpensive so keep watching probably saw was me doing the time lapse just kind of like opening up all the jars and stuff like that from the dollar store so I'm gonna throw all of those in the dishwasher um, and just let those like have a nice deep clean um, and then what I'm gonna do is right now the little jars that I do have clean I'm gonna start transferring the spices uh, and the labels on those so I can start recording those while the rest cleans and then I'll finish the rest of the pantry but I am so excited because the home edit, if you follow the home edit on Instagram, it's just like Pinterest organization dreams. Like they're amazing. They do celebrity closets and pantries and oh, I just like love them. Well, they have their Netflix special up and it just came out today. I'm like, this is perfect. I'm gonna put this on in the background and I'm going to organize my spices. So it's like the most perfect organizing evening, but like, this gives me so much joy that like I didn't want to rush it. I wanted to like have a whole mood and setting for it. Is that weird? But like I did, I wanted to just like dedicate a whole day to this. And sometimes you just do. So this is like a perfect like weekend project that you can like start and do. Um, the reason why today is like just taking me so much longer is because I realized that I didn't have enough jars and then I had to print some more labels and it was just, I wanted to go to Canadian Tire because they actually started carrying the home edit line there. So. I wanted to go and do a few errands and then the day just got away from me. But I'm going to now settle in in the kitchen on my bar still here. I'm gonna set up my little tripod and I'm gonna show you guys how I'm going to organize all the spices into jars. I like, last night I did a little planning. I'll show you my notebook. Um, so these are some of like the labels. Um, and then over here, I just like made a list of certain things um, that I wanna have in like the small jars, the medium jars, the large jars. I got like all different sizes. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys those. But yeah, I just kind of like, this like is so helpful because then I kind of like know what I need. I took everything out last night. Like I threw out things that are expired. Um, but yeah, you see how like it's just like it's not pretty like they're all in different jars and you know labels and that kind of thing And it's just gonna look so nice when it's all cohesive and Labeled and has just like one nice look. So that's my Dollarama mess over there on the side I'm gonna pop these guys in the dishwasher. I just like open them So these are the large ones. I wanted the medium ones, but they didn't have any more so I just settled for it um, and then I also got like these mini mason jars just for like other things This is my like preliminary setup of like what I'm trying to achieve here So I wanted to see firstly how everything fits. So I'm gonna put like the large ones back here I have like some small uh, like the medium ones man I wish I got more that time that I went but they didn't have any um, So that's fine. I'm just gonna work with what I got um, And then I got these like little acrylic stands from Amazon 
they were like a pack of two and then these little mini ones these are from amazon i got like a whole set of these and then these were from dollarama and i'm so happy that i found like the matching ones um and then up here i'm just on my stool now i got another one so i could put like the large ones back here and then more over here so it's nice because it'll like elevate it there's like a nice tiered one and then the ones that i'm not going to be putting like in like a tray i'm just gonna like put them up here like the top ones that are like not gonna go in these pretty bottles but i want them like in their own little shakers or whatever so that's fine i don't need everything nicely whatever but at least i still have like a spot to like put all like the other random things and then like the everyday main things that we use all the time will be right here and it'll be really pretty and really cute <music> Okay, I've got my tea here now. I'm gonna just like cozy in and get started on transferring over all of my spices into the little spice jars. So again, I've got like all these different like mixed spices and I want everything to look nice and cohesive. So I've got all of these little mini ones that I'm gonna start transferring them into. And then I've got my labels over here and then I'm just going to put them on and then wait for my other larger ones to come out out of the dishwasher I'm gonna just like dry them really well and then I'm gonna put like bigger ones in there like things like cinnamon sticks um, I have like this huge container from like Costco of like pepper flakes um, my everything bagel uh, seasoning that kind of thing and those will go in like the larger ones and like some nuts and stuff like that so let's get started <laughs> I'm just gonna show you really quickly how I'm like aligning so that I can get like the perfect nice like straight stick on because I was like having a little bit of stress of like how am I gonna stick these on perfectly so what I'm kind of just doing is I'm using the bottom here of the lid to kind of be my alignment for each one so that they're all the same so I'm doing it in the middle and then just under that lid line right there and I'm just aligning it and it's perfect like it goes on perfectly onto the jar and it's not it's not too crazy like I thought it was gonna be more intimidating but it's coming out so cute I just love it ah I'm so excited you want to poke around and see what mom is doing <laughs> she's like what is going on Lou she needs a groom so bad she's gonna get groomed next week but look at her like these hairs coming out of her ears and her little beard your little beard is wet after you drink some water <laughs> Okay, so my big jars are still in the washer. I really want them to like fully dry because again, I just got these from the dollar store today and I wanted to really make sure they're super sanitized. Okay, so I'm just going to start stacking a few of the spices up here. And you can totally like switch it up to like whichever ones that you're gonna use more of. I thought that one was on the slant, but it wasn't. It was just the angle that I was on. I got concerned. Um, you know, like if you use certain spices more, put them obviously closer to the bottom and then put ones that you maybe don't use as much up at the top. Um, so 
that's how I'm gonna kind of do that and I'm just gonna stack these over here so while my other pieces just end up drying um, for the pantry I'm also going to work on my little masala Indian spice box so when we were displaced we were staying with my in-laws um, and I just learned so much from her in the kitchen and just how she like it was just so functional. She had such great tools. I went and like bought so many different things after staying there when we came back here um, because she just had so many good like kitchen tools and you can really, she loves to cook. So when you are around someone that loves to cook it inspires you to cook and like you, you really just like learn things, how they do things in the kitchen. And you know, I like to like keep those for future reference. So um, I really wanted to make our own um, and I ordered this off Amazon. So if you're in any, like Indian household most of them would have it um, they have these like spice boxes um, so it makes the cooking so much easier so um, of course I'm gonna store other spices and stuff like that in those jars but like for my everyday kind of thing which would be so easy with a spoon I'm gonna transfer a few of like our everyday like salt pepper turmeric um, that kind of thing into this so I'm gonna show you guys okay so this is how it looks and I just ordered it off Amazon and it's stainless steel um, and so you basically use like these spoons will stay in here and then it's just so easy to like when you're cooking you just kind of like pop, kind of like pop things into your uh, dishes and stuff so I am going to fill these up with like some of the remainder of these spices um, that didn't fit all in those jars and then we can have this as well just on hand I love it I'm so excited to use this Okay, this is how the masala box came out. So I'll show what uh, spices I have in here. So these are like everyday things that we use. Um, so it's just nice to like have on hand and we'll just like keep it on our countertop um, and then the nice lid keeps everything nice and uh, fresh. So I've got turmeric, I've got hot chili powder, black pepper, curry powder, Celtic sea salt. This stuff is so good for you. There are so many minerals in this and the expiry date, look at this, this is crazy. Can you see that? It's 2033, it lasts so long. Um, I love adding these to like soups, broths, um, really, really nice, uh, really good to have. So I have that and then I have our Himalayan pink salt, garlic powder, turmeric powder, um, and it is just so cute. I just love it. I love playing with this thing whenever I'm at my mother-in-law's house. So um, I'm so happy that we have our own now and we can just like use this and it's just like nice and easy with the little spoons. Um, and it was like the perfect thing to have to use up all the leftover from the containers that didn't fit in the other jars and then I can always just like replenish. Okay, so my jars are all nice and clean now. They're fully sanitized from the dishwasher. I just did the glass in here and then the bamboo lids. Um, I just washed in some good dish soap in a bowl and then I rinsed them and I'm drying them. So I'm gonna take these out and then wipe them down on the inside with some paper towels so that I can pop my uh, spices inside there. So I just took some of these out from the um, dishwasher and I thought that it would take care of, do you see like the little stickies from the sticker that the lid was on you might not even be able to tell you can kind of see it on this one I was trying to get it off so you can use goo gone but there's tons of chemicals in it someone had uh, told me just to use like just lemon essential oil so I'm just gonna use a little bit of that to get off the sticky it's just on these two the other ones I did a pretty good job and then the dishwasher got off most of it with like the heat so I'm just gonna do that just because you know we're gonna be putting things inside here and uh, that's gonna be edible, so I definitely don't want to use like something crazy like goo gone on the outside of it Because uh, I just don't want it to go inside. I've already washed this so I just am gonna use some of this lemon essential oil and then hopefully everything will come off Wow, it's coming off so well It smells so good and it just makes me feel better that I'm using something more natural um, to take it off the jar and I'm just gonna wipe it down that's it got off all that like ooey gooey stickiness like if you have a price tag or something like that 
um, and it's on something like a cup or something like that that you're gonna like drink or whatever, I recommend using the lemon essential oil because that worked really, really well. Okay, so now I'm going to fill up my larger jars um, and the medium sized jars. And I just printed my own at home um, because I didn't have time to like reorder some new ones. So I just kind of like, it's the same simple basic font. You can just like make labels at home. You can do a label maker. Um, you can get like custom ones. And underneath I wrote Jolly Abode. Um, and these are just like shipping labels that I use for my shop. So I just like cut them um, to kind of like fit the larger uh, vases. And I put Jolly Abode. That's like our like hashtag on Instagram. If you ever want to like go and look at like um, any decor or that kind of thing. I have everything hashtagged under Jolly Abode for our home stuff. So that's kind of like what we call our little condo space is our Jolly Abode. That's our last name and you know, it's cute. So uh, I just printed some extra ones like that that I could stick onto this and it still gives it that same look on the dollar store jars um, that match the other tiny little spices. But I do love the other ones because I can't get those little like square sizes or just even that shape. Um, so I did love like ordering it from that shop and I would recommend it um, because of the fact that like I don't have like that was like cute little papers like fit on the size um, and yeah it just it looks it looks so nice and she already has like pre-made like sheets of all of like these like spices and they are like already done it, like saves you all the work and they're pretty inexpensive as well um, but I just wanted to create some bigger ones for these other larger jars and they're kind of like things that I can kind of like customize myself. So that is what I'm gonna do. And then I'm going to pop everything over there. I'm so excited to be wrapping up. Um, it's kind of been like a day adventure. It's more, it takes more time because I'm like stopping to film certain things too. Um, but it's been so fun. I love this stuff. So I just got these to fit here. Um, I wanted to see if they were taller than I was gonna use like the larger, but it, all of it fit in this one jar. So I'm so happy. Um, so I love like cinnamon sticks for, you know, you can make them for hot toddies, you know, for like nice warm drinks during the fall and the winter times, like perfect for that. Um, so I'm so happy that it all fit in here. Um, and it also just like keeps them really nice and fresh. Um, and just like certain recipes call for cinnamon sticks to have in them. So anyways, I'm just really happy that it was like literally the perfect size. You know how like sometimes you don't even know if it's gonna fit and it just works and it's just, it's just so nice when things work out that way, you know? Um, so I'm going to finish doing all of these other ones just to kind of like speed it up and then I'll show you guys the finished product. <laughs> So I just finished the large jars. So you'll see here, I've got like the big stuff. So chia seeds, everything bagel. I've got some assorted nuts in here. Um, got some sesame seeds. We love to put those on like stir fries. More of the Celtic salt so I could like just keep it here. Also, if you hear something sizzling, Neil's making chicken cause it's now evening time and he couldn't wait for the kitchen to free up. <laughs> He's, we're both getting hungry um, while I finish this. So, that's kind of what I have on the bottom here and it's like perfect just like a mount with you know the little um, tiered tray here so that it's elevated you can fit more if you have even more you could like pop some behind here uh, which is great and then up here I have more spices um, or turmeric crushed red pepper the hot chili pepper up there we got a lot I have two empty jars back here um, because I need to go and get a few things to add in those two and I didn't do the labels for them because I didn't know what I was going to use them for but they're back there um, and then I've got my cinnamon sticks cloves up here I love adding these to like teas and uh, different recipes and then we've got like all of our nice spicy spices cayenne and paprika and chili powder up here um, so I just love how it turned out. It looks so cute.
All right, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this little pantry makeover. I hope that you guys will try it out too. Let me know if you do tag me. I would love to see it. I am feeling nice and accomplished. I feel so productive today just doing that. It looks so good. I cannot wait to just start using it and just having that system in place feels so good. I'm gonna cozy up now and I'm going to relax watching the home edit some more organization to feed my soul because it's just been a nice productive organized day and i am just so happy anyways i hope you guys enjoyed it leave me a thumbs up if you really liked it if you really 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 liked it i hope that you will subscribe to my channel for more videos because we got more stuff coming soon and i will see you guys in the next video